Fruits, vegetables, and lean protein, the building blocks of a healthy diet. But far too many Americans don't have access and can't afford them. In Milwaukee, they have come up with a rolling solution. It's the only way I can shop. I can't afford anything else. The Hunger Task Force partnering with Piggly Wiggly to bring healthy, affordable foods to so-called food deserts. The people who are most impacted by food deserts are more likely to be people of color, uh, low-income people, seniors, and people with disabilities. The mobile market makes stops around the city with savings of 25 percent or more. Streets here are filled with fast food chains and few supermarkets. More than a third of the neighborhoods in Milwaukee don't have access to quality fresh food, and that's because in a lot of places, the small local grocery stores are out of business. And with the pandemic, that situation has only gotten worse. Sheila Cruz is a mom of two young daughters. How much would you say is your budget for food a week? A week, I try to stay under 100, which sometimes it's not enough. Healthy food often feels like a luxury she can't afford. On the weeks where you can go and visit the mobile market, how much easier is that? Oh, it's way easier. I got a lot of fruit, veggies. I got um, like a couple of packages of meat, and I stayed under $20. Nearly 20 million Americans live in low-income areas without accessible grocery stores. The mobile markets in Milwaukee could be a model for the country. I don't think as a country we understand that this is a public health crisis and bringing fresh food to neighborhoods in need is something that um, is imperative for all of us. Perhaps the best way to get the food to those who need it I got some bananas, pomegranates, and avocados. is to put the food on wheels. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, Milwaukee. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.